so this is going to be final walkthrough to show what I did with this trailer how I converted it into a toy hauler or travel trailer whatever you want to call it so this is a 24 foot V nose so we get about 18 inches in the front uh, I'm gonna start with the outside uh, front this is a shore outlet generator or your regular 110 in the front I put a mini split compressor this little cover is kind of getting torn up but keeps it covered out of the sun and elements uh, I had a bigger cover or I had a, a different cover that went over it, it only lasted for two trips kind of got torn apart so propane tank kind of made a mount myself you know attach it with little chains so this is a little cover I have on it I installed this little valve to show the pressure it works pretty good actually and the only thing I use the propane for is a tankless uh, water heater we have a uh, outdoor stove that we use with small propane tanks so on the side here this is a tankless water heater works really really well okay down here got my drains also I've installed four windows two on each side one two one two let's go back so the whole thing is insulated I even insulated the bottom so my holding tanks this is what I got I got 27 gallon black water tank 45 gallon gray tank and 45 gallon fresh water tank the water pump is mounted right here underneath I tried to insulate all the piping all the water piping just in case I have my little drain valves fresh water from the pump and there's a little valve I've installed to drain uh, fresh water also there's a valve just in case to drain uh, gray water right here these axles I had to swap them out just to get better clearance originally this trailer had four inch drop axles I swapped them out with straight axles and it gave me an extra four inch lift and plus more clearance so for insulation I've used a pink foam board because it's water resistant or waterproof kind of glued it to the bottom filled all the cracks with expandable foam and I actually ran a couple of screws with washers just in case to hold it in but the foam holds it in place pretty good so the whole bottom of the trailer is insulated like this all right moving on this is the water fill so when I lifted the trailer because of the axles, I had to uh, drop this. I had to drop this piece of metal. I redid the wheel well, so I dropped it a little bit. So that's why it showed. The metal is showing right here. So I finally got. So I finally got this cut. Just gonna slide it in and weld it up. So I think it's gonna work out just fine. But it doesn't look too bad. another window so right here I did a little storage compartment for my hoses for my drain hoses oh also forgot to mention I installed four leveling jacks in each corner there's another one let's go back to the front and uh, two in the front there's one 
and there's another one right there so back to the storage compartment just a small storage compartment to hold all my hoses so it doesn't take any space inside uh, small little clips turn clips There you go. This is where I keep all the drain hoses. Moving on to the back. All right, this is the back. I've installed the spare tire back here so it's not taking any room inside. Uh, I have a separate video on this. And as you can see, it's pretty open in the back. That was the whole purpose of it. So it can fit a uh, four seat side by side. That's 14 feet long and two adult size ATVs in the back. So the ramp door, I painted it with uh, some sort of epoxy paint. It's holding up, but just the only thing you can see is the tire marks, but it's not too bad though. but it hasn't came off or chipped away. So on the interior, I just uh, laid linoleum, picked it up at a hardware store, I think it was Lowe's, it was cheap. So up here I have the bed, I made the bed frame myself. I didn't use two by fours, I used, uh, what is it? One by two, one by three maybe, just the thin boards kept it as light as possible these legs got them on Amazon I had to extend them though just so it sits a little higher have to do something better than these little wire hooks to hold them up uh, a little pulley mechanism to lower it and lift it Pulleys just, or not pulleys, it hooks the ropes, just hook to those uh, D rings. I have it strapped just in case when, when moving the trailer. So, this is a hand winch. I just removed the handle and I use drill with a three quarter socket on it to lower it or drop it. Uh, interior walls. I think I'm gonna redo them, but what I did, I just used uh, texture paint to give it a little bit of texture. Not too bad, but I think I might just go to uh, like wallpaper or something smoother. I did little two little uh, shelves, one on each side to hold your stuff, your wallet, your phone when you're sleeping. Uh, curtains. Uh, got some curtains up so for storage I did not want to go with cabinet once again I try to save on weight as much as possible so I just use this cargo nets throughout the trailer uh, folding couches RV style couches that fold away so still got some straps and chair on the floor sorry about the mess did that little shelf another storage net little storage nets uh, for the ceiling I've used marine carpet throughout the trailer also also I've used a uh, little LED lights just down the center I've got three of them in here and I've got dimmable LED strips one in each corner corner of the trailer. I don't know why it's flickering on camera. It's not actually flickering in real life. Oh, there we go. Uh, hooks. More little storage compartments. 
I've got two 110 plugs, one right here that powers a mini split. That's where I mounted the in inside unit, indoor unit. I mean, that thing was only about $500 roughly. And I mean, it does the job. It's super quiet, super efficient. I mean, I don't even use a generator to run it, just use my batteries. Got the uh, USB ports, one here. And one right above the fridge. Another 110. So this is for my tanks, water pump. Uh, this is for tankless water heater. Or little battery meter. Just shows you the voltage. Uh, microwave, a little bit more storage up here. This is the fridge. It's a 12 volt fridge, works awesome. Barely drains my batteries. Got the freezer on top. I mean, it's plenty of storage for uh, camping trips and stuff. And like I said, it's only 12 volts, so no propane needed. I have plenty of battery power. This cabinet is where all the electric things are. I've got propane detector down here. So this is all the electrical stuff. I've got three batteries, big batteries, lithium ion batteries. Each one of them is 200 amps. Power inverter. Switches. It powers a 12 volt. And this one is to get the power to the uh, inverter. So originally I got the RV panel. Uh, I think it's Progressive Dynamics had some issues with it so I just basically kept the cover and I kept the 110 volt compartment in here and I just went to a parts store and got a little panel fuse panel for 12 volt right here and just wired it, wired it inside and like I said these batteries give me enough power to run my 110 volt appliances microwave a mini split no problem no issues uh, bathroom got their toilet small sink uh, more storage uh, nets small hooks paper towel roll I've got towel hooks on this side light another light switch for the top got the fan shelves back here and uh, this is the shower it's 24 by 36 inch pan shower pan I've got the curtain rod up here all right got the little mirror so once again, the walls are insulated, the floor is insulated. So uh, tables, this is what we use for tables, these small foldable tables. One goes right here and another one we put in between the couches when everything's set up. So I just use a small strap to hold the couches in place. couple IKEA mattresses okay okay couch this one does the same thing moving on to the bed I'll show you how I lower it and raise it basically just use a drill right here 
all the legs are dropped. Let's get rid of these straps. Like I said, I use these just as a safety precaution when moving the trailer. And this is how the bed drops down and I just unhook these cords so they're not in the way and I tuck them away all right so this is what it looks like when a bed is down two couches couches folded out table this is the table we use at daytime when the couches are unfolded, we just throw the mattresses on top of a big bed so we can use these couches. Oh, these are the lights. One, two, three, right in the middle. Now you can see them all. So the main key for this project was to be able to fit a car or side by side and two quads keep it as lightweight as possible so I can pull it with my truck the dry weight of this trailer is around 5,000 pounds so I am well within my limits when everything loaded with water and camping gear and everything else so if you have any questions or if you want to know something specific about this trailer go ahead and uh, leave a comment below and uh, thank you for stopping by